Good morning, my friends and my family. Good morning. Y'all come on in. Ooh, it's a good day. I'm ready for this day. Good morning. I'm excited that I have a job. I'm excited that none of my bills are behind. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so blessed that I can pay my bills on time. Thank you, Jesus. It is a great day. You hear me? <laughs> Charlene, Davida, Lynn, hey boo. Yes, y'all, it's a good day. You hear me? Baby, I will not be down and depressed and, and dreading my no. Mm -mm. <laughs> we not no, we're not doing no dreading. Yolanda Anderson, I don't think I've ever seen you in here, boo. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with sunshiny faces. And this, this is the way we start our new day. Good morning, Yolanda. Welcome to Morning Inspiration with Tutu. But listen, Yolanda, baby, I'm going to have a good day. You hear me? I ain't walking around here with dread and, and fear and uh-uh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, Hazel, yes, hey, Tracy, yes, we are praying uh, for a successful surgery for you, um, Hazel, we pray that God would, would, would keep the surgeons alert and that they would remember everything that they've learned in medical school and that they would do it with ease and there would be no complications. Come on, somebody. <clears throat> we, 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 we just, we pray that the Lord would, would, would bless you with a speedy recovery. That it won't take no long time for you to recover. Come on, somebody, because you got work to do, Miss Hazel. You got to be on that door. I know you're an usher. That beautiful face when I come to... Uh, we believe God for you. I pray that God will give you peace. And that you would not be anxious. But that you would trust him. This is in his hands. Come on, somebody. Sharon, Tanessa, good morning to you. <laughs> yes, this is a great day. Don't let nobody steal your joy today. God loves us. He is concerned about our concerns. He delights in every area of our life. He is concerned about every single thing that we go through. God loves us. You hear me? Thank you, Tanessa. I took my braids out and I ain't put no comb in it or nothing, baby. I just... I'm just free. You hear me? <laughs> Where the spirit of the Lord is. <laughs> we so churchy and, and so super spiritual. Yes, baby, I'm free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm walking in liberty today with this hair all over my head. <laughs> yes, it's a good day. I'm telling you, God has graced us with life, health, and strength. Come on, somebody. I need you to get your mind on the things of God. Don't be consumed about what you're going through. But use that energy to be a blessing to somebody else in, in, in their distress, in, in whatever they're going through. Sometimes we get so focused on ourselves and what we're going through that we really, we're not available for anybody else. Come on, somebody. 
But I, I, I pray that you would not only look out for your own interest, but that you would look out for the interest of others. You know, get, get your mind off of, off of you and what you're going through and try to reach out and be a blessing to somebody else. That's what God loves. That's what God loves. Hey, Frank, Cheeseboro, y'all come on in. Lord, how they increased that trouble me. Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul. There is no help for him in God. But thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Cheryl, I ain't seen you in a minute, girl. But thy wall, oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, sir. I cried unto the Lord with my voice and then he heard me Devin out of his holy hill I lay me down and slept I awaked for the Lord sustain me but thou oh Lord are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up from my head he is the one that lifts our heads but thy oh lord are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up from my head Yes, sir, I will not be afraid of 10,000 people that set themselves against me round about. Oh, I will not be afraid of 10,000 people that set themselves against me round about. Yeah. But thou, oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Mm -hmm. Thou, oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, sir, Davida. Therefore, we have no worries, baby. Because thou, oh, oh, Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, sir, that's Psalms 3. But thou, oh, oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, Tasha. Listen here. I don't want you to fret, baby. God is the lifter of your head. You hear me? Baby, we will not fear. We will trust in the name of the living God. We will not fear for what can man do to us. For if God be for you, if God be for you, Hazel, come on, somebody. If God be for you, Cheryl, if God be for you, Davida, if God be for you, Sharonda, somebody tell me who can be against you. Come on, somebody. Therefore, we have no worries. <laughs> That's good. Therefore, we have no worries. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter 
of my head. I declare and decree that money comes to me. I believe that I have more than enough to be a blessing to God's people. I am prosperous. I live in the overflow. I lend and not borrow. And God takes pleasure in my prosperity. Y'all come on in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I told you it was a good day. I told you it was a good day. Y'all come on in. I'm on my way to work and I'm almost there. And I want to briefly talk about, and this will uh, wrap up our study uh, on the different names of God. And there are so many names uh, of God, you know, but, but we use the ones, you know, Jehovah Rapha, uh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom. You know, we use those a lot. So you've heard of those. But um, as I study, you know, there's some that, that I've never heard of. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Tasha. And today, uh, as we wrap this up, I don't know why this light is taking so long. Uh, but today, as we wrap up our study on the names of God, I want to talk about Jehovah El Kana. Jehovah El Kana. E L, that's a word, and then Kana, C A N N A, which simply means the jealous God. Help me, God. Elkanah, Jehovah Elkanah, which means the jealous God. The scripture says in, I think it is Exodus 34, 14. Yeah. Good job, Tiffany. 34, 14. For you shall worship, God was talking to Moses, you shall worship no other God. For the Lord whose name is jealous is a jealous God. For you shall worship no other God for the Lord's name, for the name of the Lord is jealous. He is a jealous God. Now, I want you to ask yourself, good morning. Good morning, Helen Mine. I want you to ask yourself a question today. What have you placed above God? In what ways have you made God jealous? Don't you know that when you go seeking after other gods and, and you make other things a, a, a priority and, and you lift those things above God, don't you know that that makes him jealous? Because he is Jehovah Elkanah. He is the jealous God. He don't want you to put nothing before him. What have you placed before God? What idols <laughs> what idols do you have in your life? And you know, when we think of idols, Davida, Sharon, when we think of idols, we think of, you know, uh, uh, wooden images and, and, and uh, uh, um, Christmas trees. And, and I, I don't even want to get into Christmas trees. And please do not run and say that Dr. Tiffany said having a Christmas tree is wrong because I didn't say that. But I'm just trying to get you to see that there are some things that, that may be hidden that we idolize. Uh-huh. Can I help you today? So I looked up some things and I was like, wow. You know, th some things are hidden and you don't really think that they are idols. But let me help you. Some of us have idolized our identity of who we are. You know, how many followers we got on Facebook, uh, uh, our accomplishments, uh, our achievements, um, you know, things that, 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 that we've done. We've idolized titles. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us have idolized. Baby, some people will get you together if you don't put a title in the front of their name. Some of us have idolized our identity. Who am I helping? And then some of us have idolized money and material things. Some of us will place making money above the things of God. We will work ourselves to death. We won't even take time and spend time with God. We will place these things above God. The scripture says that the, the love of money is the root of all evil. We chase these things and we idolize, you know, our homes and cars and we want to get the latest phone and we want to do these things. But where does God fit into that? 
We've got to make sure that we're not idolizing uh, uh, these these hidden things. Uh huh. Lord, this traffic. And then the, the the last thing, and there's very there's a lot of things, but I just looked up a, you know a few things. Our job and our career status. You know, some of us are are, are you know. We, we, we go to school, and I mean, nothing's wrong with that. Please don't get me wrong. Nothing's wrong with going to school and, and bettering yourself. But when you begin to place those things above God and, and, uh, and your education and all that, you can actually, those things can become an idol. But let me help you today. The Bible says, and it's one of the Ten Commandments, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Just make sure, be careful. And I pray that you would uh, ask God, seek God and ask him, what have I put before you? And I encourage you to put God in his proper place. Put God first. You shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And then the second is love thy neighbors thyself. But what have you idolized? I want you to go through your day thinking about that. And I want you to work on putting God back in his place. God is to be first. And the Bible says, and God said, you shall have no other God before me. Why? Because he's Jehovah Elkanah. He's the jealous God. I got to get out of here. It's 802. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Have a great day on purpose. Now let's run on and make, let, uh, make God look good today. Be blessed, my friends.